Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti from AnthonyMorganti.com and this is Rocky. And today Rocky and I are pleased to announce that I'm finally releasing my macro presets for Lightroom 4, Lightroom 5, and Lightroom CC. Now those of you that visit my website know that I sell some Lightroom preset packages and some Photoshop actions and I'm not exaggerating every day I get an email from someone asking me when I'm going to release some presets for macro photography. Well today is finally that day. In this video I'm going to show you how to install them in Lightroom and I'm going to show you a few of the presets in action. Now when you buy the preset package and download it to your computer it's going to be in a zip file like this here. You cannot install them in Lightroom until you extract the files that are inside of that zip file. If you're not sure how to unzip a zip file, just go to YouTube and search for how to unzip a zip file for Windows 7 or Windows 8 or for a Mac, whatever type of machine you have. And I guarantee you're going to find a bazillion videos on how to unzip a zip file. The key is once you unzip it though, you have to know where you put it and in this case it's on my desktop being guarded by Rocky and this is what you'll get after you unzip the file you will get a folder with all the presets in it so just know where you unzipped it to because when we install it in Lightroom you're gonna to have to navigate to it to install it let me show you let's open up Lightroom and go to the develop module Lightroom and you'll see in the left hand panel you have your presets tab and that's where we're gonna install it you can see I have my black and white presets, HDR, my big preset pack, and the wedding portrait and lifestyle presets. Now one thing I should add that none of my preset packages have duplicates. So whatever one, if you bought all five of them, you're going to get all unique presets. There's no duplicates in any of these packages. Now we want to install the macro ones, so the first thing we're going to do is create a folder for them. So just right click on any of these existing folders. It doesn't matter which one. Just right click and you'll see a little menu pops up pick new folder and we're gonna name it something I'm gonna name mine Anthony M's macro presets you can name it anything you like though and there it is there but as you can see it is empty now we have to load the presets into this folder just highlight that folder and right click on it and go down to import now this is where I mentioned you have to know where you extracted those files to they're on my desktop being guarded by Rocky and they're right here in that folder there's all the presets. There's 31 uh, different presets in this package. You have to click on one of them. It doesn't matter. Just click on one and then hit Command or Control A. Command A if you have a Mac, Control A if you have a PC, and you selected all of them. And then simply click Import. It just takes a second to import them, and once it does, you're ready to rock and roll. Now, I tried to give a big variety of presets here, but I think the main ones you'll probably use are the detail presets. Um, I have some detail presets for color images and some for black and white images. I think if you're into a lot of floral photography, flower photography, a lot of that sometimes looks really interesting in black and white. So I think the black and white ones would be um, used a lot for that type of photography. Also for forensics. If you work in the field of forensics and you process black and white images for your job, the black and white detail ones will work real well for you for that and save you a lot of time. Uh, but as I mentioned, most of us will probably do color and I have these three uh, detail ones for color images and I'm just going to click on this one that's called detail light and you can see how it enhanced the image with one click. There is before and there's after. And then if you want you know, a little more enhancement you could go to medium or you could go to strong and really give it a strong, strong, enhanced macro look. Now, I mentioned the forensic ones or the black and white ones, and they're similar. You just click on those and they'll do black and white. Um, you know, light, medium, and strong also to, you know, whatever flavor you want to apply. Now, I wanted to make sure that my presets worked for really close-up macro photography or even for just kind of zoomed images where it's not technically a macro where you just zoomed in on an image. And for instance, this wasp here, um, very tight macro, a lot of detail. So let's just add some light detail to it. You can see it really enhanced that image. There's uh, before and there's after. Now here's an image that's technically not a macro. It was just a zoomed in 
a picture of this little statue. And let's do something different for this. Let's go for a soft effect. And you can see it kind of gave this soft kind of ethereal effect to it. Um, let's go on here. We got, like I mentioned, there's 31 different ones. You could go through and check them out. Let's see an old macro, an old macro image, no grain. That's kind of like an old Polaroid look from the 70s. So there might be an application where you'd like that. Now, most of these presets will overwrite one another. So when you click on black and white soft effect, then you click on something else, it's going to totally overwrite that preset. Except for these ones where I have enhance. And it, as you can see at the end, it, in parentheses, it says add. You could add this enhancement to any of the existing presets. So in this case, we have the berries, and I'm going to just do some light detail on those. And you could see it brought out a lot of detail, like in the leaves and, and in the berries themselves. But I want to enhance the red now. But I don't want to lose any of this detail that I already applied to the leaves and, and anything else in the image. So we just go down to Enhance Red, and I click on that. And you can see it really enhanced the red, made it deeper red. So that's really applicable, especially, let's say you got a flower and it has some beautiful purple in the flower. And you want to enhance the detail of the stem and the leaves and all the little hairs on the stem. And you click Detail. Then you want to enhance that purple further. You could go down and just click Enhance Purple and it won't affect any of the detail that you already um, applied. It, it will just add enhancement to the purple. So that's you know, the idea that I wanted to try to do there is is to just give you the ability to add something else to your detailed images. So that's it for the macro preset packages. I'd like to thank everyone for their patience. I know I've been promising it for a long time, but as I mentioned, I saw what was out there and I wanted to make mine totally unique and have a lot of different presets that did different things to give you your money's worth. I'd like to thank everyone that has purchased any of my presets or Photoshop actions. You really help me support the website and allow me to do all the free videos I do for training on Lightroom and Photoshop and all that stuff. And very soon, like within a couple weeks, I'm going to be expanding my videos. So I'm going to be doing a lot more different types of videos for photography. So I'd like to thank everyone. It's because of you that have, it's allowing me to do this. So thank you very much. And that's it. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'll talk to you soon.